Uh, Affimax hopes to get their first product approved soon by the FDA. Wall Street's not so sure. I'm here with the CEO of the company. Why do you think this product's going to be getting out on the market soon? Well, we think peganesetide is a very important product for patients on dialysis with anemia. We did the largest ever, uh, most comprehensive clinical trial program pre-registration with uh, over 2,600 patients. And we've worked very collaboratively with the FDA to understand what their requirements are for a new drug application. Now, there were some heart risks in that study, though, that got investors really scared. Your stock price took a big hit last year. Not a concern, you think? Well, it did, and it's complicated. Uh, there were four different studies, two in dialysis, two in pre-dialysis, and then safety was assessed by combining and pooling all four studies. The good news is that the clinical trial program in total met all of its endpoints, the four efficacy endpoints, as well as the composite safety endpoint. When we did a secondary pre-planned -pre analysis to look at dialysis and pre-dialysis separately, what we saw was that the data looked very strong in dialysis, but there was an imbalance in pre-dialysis. Analysis. Yeah. And that has informed our decision, along with market conditions, to pursue dialysis only. And that is the regulatory strategy that we shared with the FDA at our end of phase three pre-NDA meeting. And we think that we have a, a strong package and a good understanding of what they will be looking for in our new drug application. Uh, how big a product do you think this could be? Well, the market uh, for ES, the use of erythropoiesis stimulating agents in dialysis in the United States is about two and a half billion dollars net. Uh, so that's the market we're entering into. We studied it in a broad patient population, so we, we don't expect that we'll be excluded from a lot of patient populations. So um, we expect that we'll be playing in that very large market and that we've got a good, a good product that can compete. If you get on the market, you're going to have to think about price. Uh, that's a difficult decision for biotechs. How do you go about deciding how much you should charge for this? It is. It's a hot topic and uh, not surprisingly given the high and increased uh, cost of health care in the United States. Um, it is limiting uh, companies' pricing flexibility, and I think that uh, companies need to be able to show that their product represents some innovation, some real value. Um, in this particular instance, uh, our product is given once a month as opposed to Epigen, which is given three times a week. So even before we set the price, there'll be some savings, administrative and nursing time for dialysis centers. Uh, but of course, on top of that, we know we're going to have to be really sensitive to customers um, trying to lower their yes. overall costs. And a lower ESA cost could be a part of that solution. So we're, we're sensitive to that. All right. Well, we're going to keep our eye on you. Hope CFDA approval coming soon. And Carol, back to you.